Ariel Hawani in Toronto for UFC 140 alongside Mark Bocek, who meets Nick Lentz this Saturday night live and free on Facebook. And Mark, uh, good to see you again. Obviously, you're coming off that tough loss uh, to Ben Henderson. What did you learn about yourself and your overall game that you're looking to rectify this time out? I was very disappointed in that loss. Uh, it was very, very hard on me. Um, but, you know, I realized uh, not to overtrain as much. Um, taper and periodize my training a little better and uh, do more drilling instead of just uh, just hard beat down uh, sparring so uh, I feel like a, a definitely a better version of myself in that uh, my cardio is better and I'm stronger and uh, I, I feel very good for Saturday I feel I feel ready to peak on Saturday uh, considering the stakes considering it was the first fight in Toronto considering the fact you're facing the former WC champion uh, was that the toughest loss of your career yeah, it was it was it was bad because it's you know losing in your hometown. It's it's not very nice. Um, my year starts here, and uh, I got a second chance, and this is my chance for redemption. Uh, I've I've never lost two fights in a row, and I'm not going to start now. How did you deal with the loss, and how long did it take for you to get back on track? Um, I initially, I, I didn't even want to hear about MMA or, or UFC. It was uh, it was really hard. I didn't. There were one or two cards I think I didn't I didn't even watch. Um, but then, then I just, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I saw I saw Ben start mowing through everyone, and then uh, I kind I kind of got uh, remotivated again because I feel like, like if I'm if I'm a hundred percent, I feel like I can beat him, and I'm not the same guy that fought him before. And uh, I'm fighting Lens now. I'm only worried about Lens, and uh, I don't I don't really care how the fight looks. My only objective here is to get a to get a W. And uh, Lens is a tough guy, and he'll learn from his loss. Final thing on Henderson, considering what he did to Jim Miller and Clay Guida, does that make you feel any better about the loss? Well, yes and no, because I know, I'm, I know I've lost to a top contender, but uh, I hate losing and living with losses. You know, and yeah, at least it's to the top guy. I believe he's going to beat Edgar because uh, he's bigger and stronger and will, and will not guess. Um, but uh, either way, I felt like that's a fight I could have won. You know, I won round one and I lost two and three, you know. Uh, We'll fight again one day. So you're saying, obviously, you're going to look to peak on Saturday night. You did things differently in training. Are these things that you are doing differently for the first time in your career? Or was it for that fight, maybe because of how big it was, you changed things up for that fight, now you're going back to how you used to do it? Well, I, t I took a little bit of a traditional approach for the last fight. I did my whole camp in Montreal this time at uh, TriStar with Faraz Zahabi. Um, I feel really good. Uh, don't feel like I've left anything... In the gym, I feel really good to peak, and uh, yeah, I look forward to showing some new things. Nick Lentz is a, sort of a tough, gritty kind of fighter, uh, not the flashiest of, of lightweights out there. What kind of a fight are you expecting out of him? He likes the fence. He's good at, peop at bringing people in into his game, you know, but uh, for him to do that, he has to be able to out-wrestle me. Um, He's not some Olympic wrestler, and this is not a wrestling match. I don't see him out wrestling me. I look forward to a, to a tough fight, but uh, I believe I'm better in every area. Are you at all concerned, and of course you're trying to make a statement, especially back here in Toronto, are you at all concerned, given his style and his previous fights, that it may turn out to be a dull fight? It hasn't really really crossed my mind. I know I know he gets a lot of flack for being boring. You know he, he tries to get the job done, but it, you know it is what it is. Like the Andre Winner fight, you know it wasn't a, it wasn't a very fan friendly fight. Um, but on the other hand, you know I don't know. I don't think I've been in that many boring fights. So uh, my main objective is to win. But you know I don't know. I think I think it can be a. I think he, I can I can I can make it an exciting fight. What do you think of the UFC's decision to come back to Toronto just less than seven months after UFC 129? The card hasn't sold out. It doesn't appear to be uh, as talked about as the 129 card. Do you think it was the right choice in hindsight? Yeah, I'd say it's the right choice because uh, it, it may not be billed as big because, you know, nothing can, regardless of when you do it, because it's not the first one anymore. It's the first one's already been here and it was at the Rogers Center but uh, there's still there's still people that want to see it and it's it's you know Ontario here it's huge and lucky for me here I get a second chance and are you happy to be fighting like are you almost viewing this as a chance to right that wrong or do you prefer fighting outside of uh, your hometown after experiencing it for the first time no I, I prefer to uh, I prefer to, f to fix this you know every time I drive by Rogers Center I get that uh, weird feeling in my stomach and uh, I think I think a win here will uh, will definitely help that. How do you see it ending? 
it's hard to make an exact prediction on this fight. It's a tough fight, but uh, I will find a way to win. I don't know exactly how. It's not a jiu-jitsu match, and it's not a wrestling match, but uh, I I'll have my hand raised Saturday night. All right, well, you can watch it live and free on Facebook. Mark Bocek makes his return to the UFC against Nick Lentz this Saturday night at UFC 140. Thank you for the time, Mark. Thank you very much.